Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and it's been over a week now since Apple has released the first beta of iOS 18 and it's just an amazing update with a ton of new features and changes. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 30 more new features and changes that you will find on your device running the first beta of iOS 18. And the first one will be a feature that's available only for the iPhone 15 series. So when your iPhone drains out of battery completely, you try to turn it on, you will see a logo of the battery right here. But with the iPhone 15s, on the iOS 18 beta 1, you will also see the time. So now even though the battery is completely drained, it will still tell you the current time. Moving on into the new control center. So with the new control center on iOS 18, you know you can customize the toggles here and anything you want. But do you know that you can also have the same toggle on different pages? So if I have this page right here and I want to add the same toggle that I have there on another page, I can do that or I can even have the same toggle if I want to on the same page multiple times and in different sizes as well. So here I have one here for the text size. I can have it right here on this page and as you can see I can have it on a bigger or smaller version. So multiple toggles of the same function in the same or different pages. A pretty cool new feature of the new iOS 18 is vocal shortcuts. So you will find it under the accessibility settings that we have vocal shortcuts. So you're basically creating a vocal shortcut to invoke an action that you want. Now the way it works is pretty simple and what you can do with this is actually choose a different word to trigger Siri. So instead of saying the hey and you know the words, you can actually do another one. So you tap on add action and you tap on continue right here and you can choose what you want to do. So you can basically find Siri right here and then just enter a different word and you can use that word to trigger Siri. Apple has just completely revamped the settings app on iOS 18. And what's really cool is that the search section has been improved a lot. And you will have your recents right here, but you will also have these suggestions at the top. So things that of course you will probably just search more often will be suggested to you and you can directly go to them from here without even having to search for anything. And for languages that are supported, you can now get multi-language keyboards on your iOS 18 device. So when you go to settings, you go under general, under keyboard, if you choose a language that is supported, not all the languages will be supported, then you will have two languages in the same keyboard and it actually dynamically will switch between different languages based on what you're typing. Now with iOS 18, Apple has also made some adjustments here to the battery section. Now one of them will be that if you're using the 5 watt charger on your iPhone, which is basically a slow charger, it will actually show you here an indicator that you're using a charger that is charging your device slowly. Now another thing is that when you go to charging right here, we'll have different limits that you can set from 80 to 100% of course, where you can limit the battery charge of your iPhone. But what you can also get right here are suggestions based on the battery usage of your device after you have set a limit here, not the 100%, but another one here, and you have charged your iPhone for a few days based on your usage and your charge, it will show you here a suggestion to which limit you should place your device on. Now this right here is pretty cool. On the notes app, you probably know that now you can do math, like right there, four plus four, equals eight. But what you can also do is what I would like to call like math words. So if I have a list here of let's say egg, eggs equal four, $4 milk equals $5, then I can go ahead and do this egg, eggs plus, plus milk equals and it will show me right there was the result based on this right here, which is actually really awesome. Now another thing here is that from a note, you can actually have quick access to your recent note simply by tapping right there, you can see you will have here your recent notes, and you will also have here a section for your math results, which I think is actually very useful. Now Apple has added some great new features 
to the music app as well now first of all on the music app when you go to one of your playlists now we can bulk delete songs from a playlist which is actually very useful also when you're playing and you'll have something in queue right here you will see the all new buttons right there so we have the shuffle or repeat and then the infinity button right there so those have been redesigned put at the top right there and they're much bigger now also what's really cool is that if you try to add like the same song to the same playlist it will show you a pop-up so let's just try that so if i try to add here a song to a playlist of course it says here already added but if i just have missed that and i try to add it it will show me this pop-up right here where i can add again or just skip from here there's also the new passwords app which is pretty awesome on ios 18 and a really useful feature is that you can add a website to existing passcode so if you have an existing passcode you can just go to that passcode even though you have it for a website you can still add another website from here and we're moving on to safari so safari has of course a feature where you can listen to a web page now that's much better with ios 18 if i try to listen to this web page it will start playing and i can get out of safari and it's right there so it's playing in the background so you don't have to stay on the web page you can just move around do your own stuff you will still have the web page playing in the background also if we go here you can notice that we have new controls here where we can change the speed of course we have a few different options then of course we can play and pause and move forwards and backwards from here which is really awesome another thing on safari with ios 18 is a new way to create a group of tabs simply by swiping here so once you're at the last group you just swipe like this and you can create a new group tab as you probably know with the photos app we have a ton of new features and this one right here is called customize you so will get a customize button at the bottom of the photos app and you can customize here what you basically see on the front page of your photos app so you will have here a few different things a few different albums as you can see there you can rearrange them or you can enable or disable any of them and what you can also do here is reset it anytime you want to their default but you can just pick any of the folders that you want to see right there which is really awesome and when you're on the photo that you have edited and you want to copy the edits from that photo you now have a few different options so let's just quickly edit a photo here now what we can do here is tap the dumb button you can see once i want to copy the edits it will give me the options here so if i want to include the adjustments or not which is really awesome now based on different like pictures you will also have different options for lightning and all that stuff now another thing you can do here when you're trying to crop a photo you will also get a lock which basically locks the aspect ratio of that picture so when we go to crop right here you can see we can just lock that so whenever we try to actually crop this it will have the same aspect ratio which is really awesome and once you also have like edit a photo what you can do is save it as a duplicate right there which is really awesome so you will have the original photo but then you will also have another one with the edits that you have made which is again really useful and when you go here again to a photo that you have edited previously you will also get the red button red and black button right there to revert of course this has been here before but now it has been redesigned and just like on a ton of ios apps you also get your picture at the top of the photos app where basically you will find your profile and all right there if you tap on that picture we'll have a few different options we will also find the option to show or hide the hidden album on your photos app moving on to the calendar app now the calendar app has gotten a ton of updates as well with ios 18. now it's integrated with reminders and it's pretty cool but you will also get different views right here now you can change between those views by just tapping that button right there so we'll have compact stacked or details which basically shows you all the different details and then you will have the list as well but what you can also do here is pinch 
in and out to switch between like different views and you can see the icons right there changing at the top once you're switching between the different views that the calendar app offers on iOS 18. Another thing I have noticed here with iOS 18 is that when you take a screenshot and you're marking up something, you will get now a new like toolbar. So if I just tap right there, you can see I have this toolbar here that has been redesigned where I have all the different tools where of course I can manage everything that I have added to this screenshot. Also, what you can do now is that you can edit reminders that you set by Siri set a reminder to record a video tomorrow and there goes the reminder but now i can tap right there and i can edit this reminder and add anything else i want another thing is game mode it's actually now working with ios 18 and once you start a game it will actually automatically start the game mode on your device so these are more than 30 new features that we have been able to discover on the new iOS 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more iOS 18 videos, make sure to subscribe. And of course, leave a like on the video. And I'll see you on the next one.